Howdy, howdy. We got another Porsche. Now it's rough. I think he told me it's a 1977 Porsche. It is rough. I don't know what field they dragged this out of. Hey, you don't gotta get in the mud hole. If you find somewhere dry, that's fine with me. You got it? Yeah, I get it. I just go, I got to level off, shit off. Okay. Golly. <coughs> Man, it's pretty rough looking. All right, so how many people are gonna scream when I crush this one? Not too many people. The very first video I made was I crushed the Porsche, got the channel going. Um, really. So I think this is going to be like number five. You never know what's going to come to the gate of this truck, this junkyard. You never know. I love working over here. Occasional donut machine, fishing hole down the street. Um, everybody over here says, okay, cowboy, okay, cowboy. We'll let him get all that undone and I got a couple, one more little thing I got to do. <laughs> so I won't be over here tomorrow. But the price went up, so maybe these guys can do a couple of things. Maybe they can give a little more money for the cars. Man, that thing's full of junk trash. Golly. All kinds of them. Bouncing a car around, stuff's just falling everywhere. I'm gonna get that grease gun out. We got time, I'm just waiting on the truck, and then we're heading back to the shop. Nineteen seventy seven Porsche on the chopping block. I really don't like going under these cars this way because you can catch an oil pan and make a big old mess. Make a big old mess. Spin, spin. That's good enough. He said every tire on it's flat, so it's probably not going to roll. Come on. Oh, it's coming all sideways. All right, so you're going to have to if you you're going to have to fix the trunk if you want this car. <laughs> My bad. Man, it's rough. Let's go check it out. Now the man says 77. I don't know. Hey, pork chop. You said 77? 75, right? 77? Pork chop. Let me find a dry spot. I don't feel like standing in a mud hole. <coughs> that 
that thing is rough. Pretty rough, guys. I don't even think I. I tried to pull the. Tried to pull the lock up. I don't think I'm gonna get this thing open. No. Oh, whoa, whoa! We got it. Is it move the seat back or is that the e brake? Dang, I think that's the e brake. Porsche AG West Germany. Some old Polaroid, <coughs> old Polaroid picture. Looks like Christmas Day. What? There's the mirrors. Listen, listen. How about that? Oh, it still works. This is old. Bumper knocked off. Y'all hang on a second. Definitely a squirrel's. Uh, look at all these pecans. There's some Texas pecans. They get a lot bigger than this down here. These are small ones. And some of them are down here big as your thumb. Dang. Hope the critter ran out. Nineteen seventy seven, applicable to nineteen seventy seven now. <coughs> All right, so just a little, I'm guessing four cylinder, one, two, three, four spark plugs. Dang, this thing's rough. Nope. I don't see anything in there anyway. Yeah, I said that on my first Porsche video. I was like, yeah, I don't see anything I need in there. And this guy's like, only $3,000 worth of stuff. I still got the key. What? I'm the proud owner of a Porsche key. Looks like I've copied, but I don't. Anyway, it says F. It says Fitz VW is what it says, but maybe I should take this horn cover. I don't want to tear it. Maybe just cut it right. Maybe just cut it right there and save it. Anyway, guys, this video is getting long over a old junk Porsche. So I don't know. Maybe you can pop this top out. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Did it not come with a rear view mirror? Oh yeah, it fell off a long time. There's the glue at least. All right, folks. I sure do appreciate everybody. I'm having a lot of fun and smiling and, and I just, just love this little channel. I think it's working out just real fine and real great. All right, 77 Porsche 
Somebody tell me what it is. You guys know. I've got some awesome Super Throwdown subscribers. 77 Porsche on the chopping block. Thank you.